What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hey, what you doing to me, babe? So, guess who went to Ulta? Those of you that don't know what the 21 Days of Beauty sale is, it happens semi-annually at Ulta. And it's when you can get deals on last season's products for usually about half price. So, let's get right into it. I'll show you what I got. I tried to save the receipts for you guys so I could tell you the prices. I have some of them. Some of them I misplaced, but the first thing I got was the Mia 2 in this beautiful blue color. I was really excited to get this. Um, I'd been wanting it for a while, but I'm a frugal person usually, so I like to buy stuff when it's on sale. This is originally priced at $169, and I got it for $119, so $50 off, which is super. The next thing I picked up was a Buxom lip gloss, and I hadn't had one of these yet, but impressed it's my favorite I'm wearing it right now I got it in the color pink champagne and I'm wearing it paired with my Mac Shanghai spice I think I'm saying that right I could be very wrong and here's the pink champagne this is what it looks like it's cute I love the way it feels on my lips it's like tingly on your lips It feels amazing. All right, so the Buxom lip gloss was mm, was ten dollars. It's originally twenty dollars. I would definitely spend the money on a Buxom lip gloss that's not on sale because I really like it that much. Next, I got. Let's see. Next, I got the Buxom. Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation, Light to Medium Coverage, Broad Spectrum, SPF 30. Um, I've never used this before, but I find that the 21 Days of Beauty is a perfect time to try products that you don't normally use because you're not spending full price, so I wanted to try this out. I'm going to use it this summer. Um, I got the shade Dim the Light. It's pretty dark for me. I'm not that tan yet, so it will definitely be my summer cover-up but I think that's a good thing because it's it seems to be a lighter coverage and I don't need a lot of coverage in the summertime. So I'll let you guys know how that is. If you want a review on any of these products, leave a comment down below and I will do a review for you. I don't have the receipt for the Buxom. Let's see. Buxom. Why does the guy have to mow the lawn next door when I'm filming a video finally? Thank you, sir. Thank you. At Ulta, the Buxom Weightless Foundation is um, a regular $34. I believe I paid $22. Not positive. I can't find the receipt for that, but $34. Pretty good deal. All right. The next thing I got was the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton. And I got it in the color Sunswept. So this is it right here. I'll do a swatch for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Um, that's on my finger. I'm not sure if that's picking up on camera or not, but it's really pretty. It's um, super sparkly. It's a little dark, but... It'll, it'll be good for me in the summertime as well. I like that it has a really cute mirror on the inside there. And you can still see the color at the same time. So, Sunswept is the name of that one. Or the color of that one. By Laura Geller. And I don't have the receipt on this one. This is the one I ordered with the Buxom foundation. And I lost that receipt. So, let me see. I, I almost feel like I paid, I feel like I paid 14 for it, but let's see how good my memory is. Mm. 
believe it or not, I'm looking on here for the price for this and Ulta has it priced at 28 bucks, which would make sense for me to have paid the 14, but Walmart sells it for 13.99. Macy's also has it priced for $28. So, I don't know, maybe if you're interested in this one, go to Walmart and check it out if it's cheaper. That's kind of cool. Um, not for me, but for you. Okay. Next, I picked up these two Urban Decay eyeshadows. I got one in Midnight Cowboy. And I got the other one in Toasted. So, I will show you guys some swatches on these ones as well. They do put a limit on you for certain things, like these I was only allowed to get two of. Which is okay, because I'll show you what else I got. And I probably didn't need more than two of these. The eyeshadows. And this one was the Midnight Cowboy. So, hey there, cowboy. That's it open. And that's the color. Okay. And it's the middle there. It's really pretty a darker of a brown color than the last one um, I like to stick to a lot of natural colors once in a while I will go with something different something a little bit out of my comfort zone this is a pretty color this reminds me of a color that I used to wear a lot um, it's there on the end So that one was toasted. The price on the Urban Decay eyeshadows is, <laughs> they are original $20 a piece and I got them for 10 bucks each. So I saved $10, half price. Okay. So next, let's see. The next items that I got, um, I picked up during the sale, but they weren't on sale, of course. I think that's kind of the whole point is to get you in the store and you're going to find other things you want because we're all addicted to beauty products. I mean, my boyfriend calls me a goo hoarder because I hoard all kinds of makeup products and bathroom products and I have a whole thing in my closet and I don't need more, but I continue to do it. I'm sure a lot of you do the same. So the next things I got that weren't on sale was a Real Techniques uh, Miracle Face and Body Sponge. I really needed a new one, so I just picked that up. Price on that Real Techniques sponge is $7.99. What do we have next? So I think that's it for those. Next, this is what took so long for me to do this haul for you because the 21 days of beauty has been over for a couple weeks now but what happened was i ordered a palette that i was super excited about that's only available online and when i ordered this palette it came to me in the mail and it was destroyed every color was busted and broken and oh it was awful i wanted to cry they sent me out a new one right away. The palette that I ordered is the 3502 palette. I was super excited to get my hands on this. I've been wanting it for a while. Um, it's only available for purchase online. You can get it at morphe.com, I know that, but I got mine at Ulta so I could get points for it. And I believe it was somewhere in the 20s, 23, $24. This is the palette and these are the colors. Today on my eyes, I'm wearing the color Pure, right here. Hope you guys can see it. And I'm also wearing Universal, which is the top corner color there. And Contour, this color right here. Anyways, this is a super great palette. Um, it has a lot of natural colors in it. And some of the only bold colors that I actually wear are the reds and orangey tones, maroons, that's about it. I don't shy away from natural colors too often. So that was that palette. I thought it was super great of Ulta to just send it out immediately, no questions asked. Um, 
I was really excited about that and I'm really happy to buy products from a company that's willing to do that. Next, I picked up some of my favorites and my go-tos. First, I got my MAC Prolong Concealer. This is what I wear on a daily basis. I'm wearing it today. It's my absolute favorite. This is what it looks like outside of the box. I wear it in the shade NC30. I picked up some of the Pro Long Wear Concealer. I wear it in the color NW20. I am wearing it today. And lastly, I normally wear the Fix Plus from MAC. It is my absolute favorite setting spray. I have been using it for years and years. I had it on sale at Ulta. I was so excited. It was like the last two days of the 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I got on there to get it at about 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning and it was gone there was none left I was so bummed so I kept looking and I actually found their new fix plus which is I'm not sure if it's gonna be a limited edition or not but this is it here and it is called fix plus gold light um, it's just like the original fix plus except it has little gold sparkles all in it who doesn't love sparkles I mean come on I was so excited about this. They also have a pink one, but I went with gold just because I already have red tones in my skin and I didn't want to bring out those. So super fun, super cute. Let's see. I'll do this hand. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles or not. Hopefully that's picking up on camera for you guys to see. I recommend it it's fun go out and get yourself some um I think that's it oh my gosh guys let's talk about this shirt ah fur mama so cute I love it that's me <laughs> I love my babies I got this shirt from Casey Holmes um, she has a boutique Rosie Days boutique and I totally recommend you guys go check it out the quality on this is great. She has a ton of cute stuff, all different sizes for everyone. So go check her out, rosydays.com. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching my Ulta haul.